we'll go ahead and call the meeting to order. Um, so we'll do roll call. Um, Alder Feldy is excused. Uh, Alder Ack Ackley is excused. Um, Alder Decker? Here. Alder Heideman? Here. Alder Salazar? Here. Um, if we could all stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, I agenda item number four, we'll go ahead and skip, we all know each other. Um, agenda item number five, approval of minutes for the November 29th, um, 2023 meeting. Move approved. Second. Great, any discussion? All right, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Great, chair votes aye, motion carries. Mm -hmm. All right, agenda item number six, resolution number 115-2324, a resolution authorizing entering into a master service agreement with the Flock Group, Inc. for Flock Safety Software Products for the Sheboygan Police Department. Okay. Uh, so we're looking for approval to enter into a master service agreement with Flock. Flock provides um, license plate reader cameras that are at fixed locations. Um, we want to put 15 of them um, on major intersections in the city. Um, essentially, the way it would work is in two different ways. One is that the software is connected to state and national databases, the National Crime Information Center. So if we go to take a stolen vehicle would be the most likely example. Um, when we take that report, we enter that into NCIC. So they're connected to that system. So as cars drive by and they take a picture of the license plate there, they run that against the national database. Um, so there's what's called a hot list, which contains stolen vehicles and vehicles used in major crimes like armed robberies and stuff like that. And so it compares it to that. And if it identifies one of those, it would get a hit and alert yeah. the officers in the squads that there's a stolen vehicle that just went by this location so that they can essentially go into that area and find that car and recover it. Um, then the other way that it would, would work would, would be if we had a crime, um, the easiest one I would use would be Walmart has a, a retail theft, organized retail theft their cameras catch a car but they don't get the license plate so we can't identify who it actually belongs to we can enter a description into the interface that we have and it will search for cars that match that description um, the advantage with flock is it searches not just by the license plate but by the other things on the car so color make um, and it will also search for things like luggage racks bumper stickers, things, damage too. things like that, damage. Okay. So it has the ability to find those things. So that would be an investigative lead that could get us to the license plate so that we could identify who owns the car and then use that in our investigation. Yeah, go ahead. Thank you. So um, we're going from five, seven settings to 15 where you're going to have the, the cameras? Right now we don't have any. We don't have any? No. Okay. All right. Um, so, but we all will be getting 15? Yep. So I have grant funds. So we have okay. enough to put 15 in at this point and then evaluate and determine if we, if the city desires to put in more or take them out, essentially. Um, so I would tell you that I didn't, I put all my files together and didn't grab it when I ran out. I grabbed my bag and it wasn't in there. Um, there's over a thousand or 600 police departments across the United States that use it now. Um, many major cities in Wisconsin, Grafton, I think was the first one in Wisconsin. Again, mostly what they use it for is retail theft around their um, yeah, yeah, yeah. business area there. Um, West Dallas has it, Fond du Lac has it, Wausau has it, um, Milwaukee has some. Um, and so uh, a place like West Dallas, it's highly successful and they're getting hits and making arrests all the time. They also have um, about 6,000 cars that are stolen yearly, at least in Milwaukee. So lots oh, of okay. target rich. I thought you meant just in West Dallas. It, I was like, wow. <laughs> um, in Sheboygan so far this year, we've had 17 cars stolen. So That's great. Um, I'm not sure yeah. that 
that would be great. Gonna, Single digits. Yeah, I have the efficacy um, that, that some of the other cities would have, uh, but there there are uses for retail theft and some of those um, other other things that I think it's worth us since we have grant funds testing it out and seeing how successful it is for us or not. This is a one year. It's two years. Two years. Okay. Okay. A couple of quicker questions. Um, first of all, this would be like for like Amber Alerts, things like that. Also, we'll be able to catch yeah. cars for that. Um, second of all, how like how does it alert the officers? Does it go through dispatch or does it send it right to the, the computers in the car? Is you can or... do it both ways. Okay. And so that's something we still have to work out and determine the best way to do it, depending on how uh, cooperative dispatch would be. Okay. Okay. Um, and the other thing I guess to ask is, where, where do you anticipate putting them, like, uh, like uh, the off ramps, like on 23, like that, uh, places that are like high traffic, or you yeah. got different. Essentially, I don't really want to tell no, everybody. Yeah, yeah. Where okay, that's fine. Where they are? Right. Okay, that's, that's fine. What I'm going to say is they're going to go major in key places, in, places. In places. Yes, yeah. Okay. Okay. In, in the city. Okay. Yeah. I think it's great. And I mean, as long as you, I think you've said it already yeah. that you guys are going to reevaluate, right? Yeah. And figure out if it still fits us. I think that's like the best method to use. Let's try it and see if it works. And so, yeah, they're, they're, they provide all of the hardware, software, and all of that. They, they'll get mounted on um, primarily light poles. There's maybe one or two traffic poles. So we're working that stuff out with DPW. Um, and of the 15, I think DPW has to do electric work on only one of them. And so we've moved that camera with DPW to make that um, easiest for them. So they have the least amount of work to do. Cool. Okay. Make a motion to approve. Second. Okay, we got a motion and second. Any other discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Chair votes aye. Motion carries. All right, agenda item number seven, RO number 7923-24 by city clerk submitting a new license application, Jake's Liquor. This is a new operator of Jake's Liquor, so they need a new license. Oh, we okay. reviewed it and we're recommending grant. Great. So you're just, it's a new person carrying a license, but Jake Liquor still has a license. No, so the, the trade name Wait, Jake's, Jake's Liquor. Where's that one? On Union Avenue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So the trade name will continue, but it's a new company. Oh, got it. So they're going to use the trades trade name, but okay. the new LLC needs to get a license. So the old one will not have one anymore. But doesn't the license stay with the building? No, it's the it does not stay with the building. It's the it's, it's the, the owner. Got it. Yeah, you know, or the renter. It's the licensee. The licensee. In this case, whatever corporation used to have it, now it's going to a different LLC. Similar to what we do with a bar, if a bar changes ownership yep. too, you still have to prove that that bar gets to. I mean, it's always assumed when they sell the bar that the mm -hmm. license goes, but that doesn't necessarily mean if there's something sketchy in the person's. Yeah. Work, you know, yeah. and we we can deny it still. Okay. So. But okay. there was nothing sketchy. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. Does this does this owner own another liquor store in the city of Chicago? Um, the LLC does not, but I believe that the person behind the LLC has multiple LLCs and owns other entities around the city. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Motion to approve. Great. Second. All right. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Great. Chair votes aye. Motion carries. Okay, our next meeting date is tentatively scheduled for January 10th of 2024. I'm looking for a motion to adjourn. So move. Second. Great. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 All right, meeting is adjourned.